Do I need to cold call as a recruiter? That's one of the most frequent questions that I see people asking on a daily basis when it comes to the recruitment business and the recruitment industry. And somebody who wants to become a recruitment consultant or somebody who wants to start their own recruitment business, this is the thing that they usually ask is how much cold calling do I need to do? Now, the first thing that we need to address is the fact that if you're asking that question then it's coming from a position of fear and a position of fear of talking to people and at the very very outset your mindset needs to be the fact that you're just talking to people right they're just humans uh, what what is there to be scared of um, I think people have a stigma in their mind that they're going to talk to someone and the person's just going to swear at them and just tell them to you know get lost but funnily enough the first ever phone call that I ever did to a client ever as a recruitment consultant fresh out of university you know I almost fell asleep at my desk and I'm picking up the phone talking to this IT manager he literally told me to f off so for anyone who thinks that cold calling is bad look it is um, and that's why I never wanted to do cold calling because of that experience and so what I teach people in my course and what I'm going to tell you here is that you need to think of your calls as follow-up conversations. So of course the process that you go through is by contacting these companies through email. That's that's the actually the most effective way of doing this. Um, and then once you've done that, that's when they will respond to you. And when they respond to you, then you have a follow-up conversation. So it's someone who's engaged with you and said to you that they have interest in what you have to offer or what you've already offered them and what you can offer them. So uh, I think this I think this mindset really needs to be that you are helping these companies out and that's what you are doing. So I think any stigmas of being afraid of calling and talking to people should be thrown away straight away. Um, but more importantly than that, um, you just have to have the right process. And then all you're doing is having conversations with people who have engaged with you. So in essence, you have all the leverage, you have the cards in your hand because they've shown to you that they need you. So so how much of your time does it, does does, is taken up with cold calling and I think you know on a daily basis you know when I was uh, working for uh, the company that I worked for they had this thing of two hours every day and the thing is they had they had their numbers they had their numbers down to a T and again this is how I recruit still this is what I teach people um, but they had their numbers down to a T and uh, two hours on the calls was proven to, to get X results uh, and of course they used to want to uh, get people to get the, the biggest and best results uh, so the difference is between when you're running your own business though and when you're working in another company is that when you work for, other, for, the, for another company yes they do recommend having like two hours of call times but also part of that is they build in the fact that the fact because they've been going for so long their, their databases are so rich but then also there's a lot of corruption on the database they they have like three tiers of people people who are top billers people who uh, are kind of they'll do the one or two deals every single month and great they might have an odd blank here okay that's not good but you know and then you have the people below that who you know don't really do anything and they only last you know three to six months and actually they don't mind that because they want those people to just clean the database call people is this person so that's not what you want to be you don't want to be that person who's cleaning the database and on the phone just to kind of cleanse it you want your calls to be sales calls you want your calls to be effective calls so at the start you know I would recommend it, it really depends on how you're working if you're only working maybe two hours a day on your business because that's all the time that you have then obviously I'm not going to tell you you know start cold calling I would say focus on uh, building your database contacting those uh, those companies contacting candidates in your in your industry um, and making things happen um, on email but you, you could just do that on email all day long and then just have those follow-up conversations um, and then, you know, from the, those two hours, the, the conversations that you're having are, you know, it depends. So a client, 
client uh, requirements conversation might be half an hour when you're selling in candidates it might be 10 minutes it might be 15 minutes it might be 20 minutes it might be five minutes it it all just depends on the person the personality of the person uh, and the rapport and relationship that you can build with them um, but it's not difficult you don't need to have this great personality and great charisma or anything if you do then fantastic but if you don't ultimately people just want the job done so you just ask the questions that are on your client requirements form or you know on the script for that part of the process whether it's selling in interviews whether it's taking interview uh, feedback whether it's taking an offer you know whatever it is there's there's a form for that in the coaching program that I have so if you're interested in that links in uh, this, the description below um, so you don't need to have like it, these aren't long conversations and you're selling in and you know it's not wolf of wall street it's not boiler room uh, it doesn't need to be that you know you can just be a consultant and you're having conversations i think the only thing that you need is just just the understanding that i mean you don't need anything really all you need to do is just follow follow the questions that are there on the on on the forms and on the templates um, and on the scripts and that's it you know that's, that's really all you need to do um so so yeah so of your day n not long i mean let's let's take the two hours that's two hours out of eight that's 25 percent of your time if you're only doing two hours a day you know 25 percent of your time is half an hour so maybe only doing half an hour um but you know of of, of a day where you're speaking to people and, and that's actually quite realistic for for two hours a day so so that's it really um you know, I don't want anybody to really be scared of